Trina, thanks so much for taking a few minutes today to speak with us about this. Oh, you're welcome. I'm happy to be here. So tell us about this uh, mentorship program that the University of King's College is uh, setting up. It's a tuition a waiver for um, up to three students a year uh, for the next six years. So basically it's just removing that barrier of uh, financial costs for that student, their family, their community, uh, and hoping to encourage Mi'kmaq students uh, to come to King's to consider journalism as an option. Uh, because right now uh, we're really not represented in a, in a strong way uh, in the field of journalism. So we're hoping that this helps uh, remedy that and entice students to uh, consider journalism as a career. And on that note, Trina, why has it been such a challenge to entice you know, Mi'kmaq and other Indigenous students um, to King's and other universities for that matter, um, and in this case specifically journalism? Yeah, you know, I've often wondered that. I don't know that I have a good answer on what the barriers are. I think, you know, I worked for APTN for so long, um, and I, you know, for for uh, decades really. And I remember wandering around reserves with my camera as a video journalist by myself, covering stories where other media weren't there. But also not really seeing, you know, like a handful of other like Mi'kmaq journalists over the years, but not in strong numbers. And I always wondered like why why we weren't there. But sometimes I think it's just about representation. So if you don't see yourself reflected in mainstream media. Um, maybe you don't see that as an opportunity for you. Uh, so I think, you know, encouraging, uh, you know, students to come, uh, especially as a cohort, because I think that's the other barrier is, is uh, challenging to come from maybe a small community or First Nation, uh, and then be by yourself um, and not sort of have peers around you. And so the cohort idea is, uh, is a great way to sort of at least have a little sense of community while you're going through uh, this experience and journalism, you know, it's a it's an intense uh, program. But Mi'kmaq uh, people and students, uh, I say people, I shouldn't say just students because there could be someone who's older. Uh, certainly, we're going to be trying to trying to recruit high school students, but it could be someone looking to come back to school. Um, and so, I'm I'm not sure what the barriers are, but certainly financial barriers are are a, are a, an easy sort of way to say, hey, like. At least you don't have to worry about this. Hopefully, you'll have peers with you, um, and and ho I'm hoping it works. We're hoping for 2023 to have uh, to have the first cohort. Well, APTN is certainly paying attention to this program, and uh, so what kinds what kinds of things does Kings need to do to be able to make this a, a success and for it to you know continue on? I think King's, like other journalism programs, um, you know, is trying to meet those those TRC. Uh, recommendations that call to action that was really aimed specifically at journalism programs and part of that is is to make sure all students graduating from journalism programs have a fundamental understanding of indigenous histories and cultures and the legacy of residential schools uh, but it's also you know the TRC really recognized the power of media to shape the narrative to um, uh, you know, to influence public opinion and attitudes towards things like reconciliation. So, for journalism programs, it's really important that that um, that the classroom is diverse, that Mi'kmaq voices are represented in that task of shaping the narrative and informing the public. Like we know what stories uh, we want to tell. There are stories we know how best to tell them. So, I think Kings is very much about making a space um, and having that support. Uh, and in, and making sure that Mi'kmaq perspectives are also re reflected in curriculum is a, is a really important way that we can make sure that students feel supported while they're there. Um, and we have also like uh, Dallas Housie, because we're part of that campus, they have like student, uh, Indigenous student services, there's um, programs sort of underway to make sure that students feel supported while they're uh, coming to King. Uh, so that's an important aspect, uh, but we just want to get them here and make sure that we have representation and maybe future APTN employees. Well, let's uh, certainly hope so. Trina, we'll have to leave it there, but uh, we definitely appreciate you coming on and talking about this program and uh, best of luck in the future with it as well. Yeah, well, Alan, thank you for having me.